Did you ever wonder how clean, pure water comes to your faucet? The water we drink isn't naturally pure. To become safe for human use, it must go through a rigorous purification process. To begin, water to supply the treatment plant must be collected from the environment. Here, water is collected from a surface reservoir. Mesh screens cover the pipe openings to prevent large debris from entering and damaging the pump. From here, the raw water is pumped to the treatment facility where it is first sent through aeration. This process is designed to provide as much air-water contact as possible, allowing dissolved gas contaminants to escape. After that, the water goes through a softening process. While not a health risk, hard water can cause undesirable mineral buildup in pipes. A mixture of slaked lime and soda ash is added to the water to precipitate calcium and magnesium, two hard water-causing minerals. Next, the water goes through the coagulation process. Mixed into the water is a coagulant, a chemical that balances the negative electron charge of the contaminant particles, allowing them to join together in heavy clumps. The actual clump formation process is called flocculation, and the clumps themselves are called flocks. Afterwards, the water flows slowly through the next tank for the process of sedimentation. In this process, the flock created during the coagulation and flocculation stages is left to settle to the bottom of the tank. After it is settled out, the water is sent to the next tank for filtration. Here, the water seeps through a filter of anthracite, sand, and gravel. The different layers of media work together to remove any small particles that may have been missed by the flock. The water must now go through the disinfection stage to eliminate hazardous microorganisms. Several processes can be used for this, but the most common is chlorination. Chlorine gas is dispersed into the water, forming hypochlorous acid to destroy dangerous bacteria and viruses. The chlorine is then left in contact with the water for a while to allow for thorough disinfection. Lastly, many water treatment facilities add trace amounts of fluoride to the treated water for the health benefits it provides. The water is now ready to use. From here, the water is distributed through the city's water system, to your house, through your tap, and into your glass, clean and safe to drink.